The movie sort of opens uh, with a musical number that uh, uh, that refers to uh, this positive energy that the, that summer is going to bring for the kids and for Bob and Linda and the restaurant. The kids are just about to get out of school for their summer break. Right. Right. So there's this hopeful feeling. Yeah. And um, they're singing, they're dancing. Yeah. Uh, and Bob and Linda are preparing for uh, to. Go to the uh, bank. Go to the bank to get a loan. Get a loan. They're very positive about it. Um, but things take a what turn. What they don't know is the bank is going to say no to the loan. No. Which so, has happened to uh, me a lot in my life, personally. So then that takes us on sort of a, a journey of trying to uh, obviously save the restaurant. Mm. Some bad things happen mm -hmm. uh, to make it even worse for a them. Sinkhole. And and then the kids get involved in a mystery. He tries to solve all of Bob's problems by building a mobile burger cart where they can sell burgers on the street and uh, just kind of push it around. And I think we're right from the beginning. As opposed to pull it around. Well, pull it around, push it around. It's mobile and um, I think that Bob isn't thrilled because he knows that he doesn't have a license to sell food. Hot dogs. Or burgers. Right. From a mobile burger cart. Yeah. And that's the plan. That's the solution. T Teddy's always there to help, no matter what happens. Uh, and it often backfires. Right. Yeah. It's because Teddy Teddy's a bit of a mess. Is an idiot. Bob is, uh, you know, he's the owner and operator of a small restaurant, a burger shop. Uh, he loves what he does. Um, he's very interested in making good food. Uh, and he has this strange but loving family, and they also work there. Um, Linda is his beloved loving love, uh, played, wife, played by John Roberts. That's and uh, I would say Bob is like the, um, he's like the anchor. Of, of, of the show and the family, and Linda is like, and the kids are like the ship. They're the ones. Then that would make him the captain. He's no, the captain. I'm the one. The, well, an anchor, an anchor, anchor does well, two, anchor. an anchor does two things. It holds you back, yes. and it also prevents you from oh, floating away. Right. Yep. So it's an extremely good analogy. I play Teddy. He's. Um, Based on the fact that you can't tell how successful or unsuccessful Bob's restaurant is, he is the most loyal customer. He's always there and he can't say whether he's there because the food's great or whether he's there because he's trying to inject himself into the Belcher family, but that's it's kind of a bit of both. Um, and uh, I guess he's Bob's sometime friend, but sometimes it's not apparent how much of his Bob's friend. I mean, I think he might be Bob's best friend. He might be Bob, Bob's only Bob friend, but that's because he Bob doesn't, doesn't recognize it. I, well, I actually think him and Linda are kind of best friends. No, that's they're, you know, they're, two, yeah, they have a, uh, yeah, they're close yeah, to. Yeah, two lovable dunces. Right. It's nice to see these guys can actually move a little bit. Uh, it is like a musical kind of format, and there's these big uh, cinematic, cinematic, that's a good word, right? That is a good word. Uh, a cinematic um, uh, dance um, moves, <laughs> but it's like a it's like a musical in that sense, and it's really fun to watch the animation do these things that you wouldn't see uh, on a TV show. It's made for the theater. It's made for theater. It's made for the big screen. It's made for the big screen. Yeah, yeah. Like Bob sort sort of started making musical or had musical numbers probably like in the fourth, fifth season they started doing a lot of musical stuff. But the movie just sort of like pushes it to uh, to like a different Yeah, I think with different Lauren, different level. Like with the, the studio they, they were able to do things that they can't do for the show. They're yeah. more advanced and, and really fun to watch. Lauren's like uh, I don't know, he's like the he's such the driving force of the show. Yeah. He created the whole world. He he handpicked the characters in a way uh, for who they are, you know, like for, you know, he, casting was a big part in the, in, the, in the origins of the show for him to sort of build this family kind of himself. Um, He's 
the he's Svengali. The doctor, he's the Dr. Frankenstein. He's the Svengali. The, or the Svengali. Uh, of Bob's Burgers. Yeah. Um, and uh, he knew exactly what he wanted. He's very specific, and it's always how it's always so impressive how specific he is uh, with his choices and, and committing to what exactly he wants, and then giving us the freedom to do what we do, and it all kind of feeds into itself. And during the creative process, I think he's a, he's a really good audience. He's a good laugher, too. I mean, he's a good laugher. For the life of the show. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. a great editor, because yes. he started as an yes. editor, so um, the yeah. ability to incorporate the improvisation from the mm -hmm. actors into the, the scripts that were, are already great, um, he, he's just got a great ear for that. The look of the movie is so much more ambitious, right. I guess, than what the show can do. So you, it's very cinematic, yeah. and very filmic, and there's the, like the dance numbers are uh, like sophisticated and. The uh, animation's very, uh, it's beautiful animation. The colors, the art direction is a lot bigger than the TV show. So. Uh, yeah, it really pulls you right in. Yeah. So yeah. as far as like 2D animated movies go, this one, this one looks really it's good. It's the best one. <laughs> it might, it might that's be. ever been made. It might be. It probably. Might be. It very well might. Be. It probably it might is. be the best. I think it's probably because it's a really positive family and it's also funny uh <laughs> it's a funny show and it's a funny little show despite the family's like um the problems that they have they they always sort of get get through it together and um i think that kind of positive energy makes it just a yeah it has a positive message for a yeah. family for a family show. I think people like uh, just enjoy watching this family. It's relatable. Get through their lives. I think Lauren creates the characters as real people and they're kind of real situations and real stresses of everyday life and there's a humor and a, a lovingness.